Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. Raising money, making friends, seeing the country into it. And Lone Star Rider. guys uh pulled over here on i think i'm on 416 i'm not sure <laughs> which road i'm on i forgot it's a nice ride anyway uh 446 i think to 416 not i'll have it corrected here anyway i stopped at this uh historical marker which is in poly cemetery so let's take a look at it That's pretty cool. What this is here. A nickel and some coinage. This is about Joseph Henry Polly. Uh, from 1795 to 1869, he was born in Whitehall, New York, to Jonathan and Rachel Herbert Polly. He later m moved to Missouri, where his friend of uh, Moses Austin, with whom he traveled to Texas in 1820. The next year he returned to Texas with Stephen F. Austin as one of the original old 300 colonists. We've got some uh, seals here, Children of the Republic, very cool used to play this game when we were kids. We'd say, get a stick and then we'd go, doodlebug, doodlebug, your house is on fire. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I forgot what these little bugs are called, but I don't see one coming out. Oh, oh well. Got a little bit of a cool Texas history here. All right, this is the uh, Whitehall Poly Mansion. It's also got a uh, historical marker right there. Very cool. Looks like people live here. So I respect their privacy. Very, very cool. And I'm gonna carry on. Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here in Sutherland Springs, Texas. I was looking for a geocache and I found it. It's called the Little Red Barn. That's the second Little Red Barn geocache that's been named that, that I've been at. <laughs> Just a hint, it's not at that Little Red Barn. But the uh, coordinates will take you right to it. Pretty darn cool. Yeah, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here in Floresville. I think that's how you pronounce it. It could be wrong. At the Wilson County Courthouse. It's one of the older courthouses that look much better when they do a brand new one. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's take a look. This is Floresville's uh, little downtown square, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, we have the uh, courthouse, which has the, I forgot what she's called up there. 
Lady of Justice or something like that. She certainly got a sword and balancing the uh, the justice side in there. I like these uh, little town squares. Very cool. This town is also known for a tribute to a peanut. <laughs> yep, a peanut. I'm headed over to it right now. I bet that over there is the old jail. And here's the peanut. In loving memory of the Peanut King, Joe T. Sweeney, experimented with peanut farming and introduced it as a viable crop to the farmers of Wilson County. Dedicated to the citizens of Wilson County. Very cool. You can tell it's voting season because you can see all the uh, signs out here. I'm assuming this is for uh, election stuff. Could be wrong. Oh, I'm wrong. They have a 76th annual peanut festival. Well, that would be pretty cool to come down to. Save our museum. So apparently, this is a museum too. I'm gonna have to stop here in the morning. Captain Will Wright. Looked in the uh, windows here of this uh, jail, and it looks like. It's being remodeled into a museum because there's nothing going on there right now. Except for looking look like there's work. <laughs> Ladders and paint. See the steel bars here. Yep, looks like a remodel, so I really can't come here tomorrow to see this. Maybe they'll let me take some pictures of the courthouse. This is a pretty cool stop. I'm uh, gonna camp out at the Walmart parking lot tonight. I don't know where I'm gonna eat. I'll check that out here in a little bit. Alright guys, I'll catch y'all on the road.